A woman is claiming she is being denied her religious freedom while she's a prisoner in the Michigan Department of Corrections. So she got together with the Council on American Islamic Relations of Michigan, filing a two-part civil rights complaint against the MDOC, and they had a lot to say. There is a pattern of bigotry that has taken place over the years. And now Coco McAvoy joins us live with more on the story to tell us more about the woman who is at the center of this complaint. Coco. Good evening to both of you. The woman is in prison after being convicted of felonious assault and felony firearm charges. She's also eight months pregnant and practices Islam and saying she's being denied the right to do so. The complaint isn't asking for any money. They say they just want to see a change, but the MDOC has a lot to say about this too. The Council on American Islamic Relations in Michigan filed two civil rights complaints today. These issues play themselves out through MDOC uh, historically. The first complaint is about the treatment of pregnant 26-year-old Siwatu Salama Ra. The council says she wasn't given access to a hijab or Quran in prison. MDOC would not allow her her own holy book to read. They also say Ra is being denied meal accommodations for her religion. She cannot eat pork. She had to abstain from taking um, in uh, many meals, resulting in actual weight loss. An MDOC spokesperson says Ra did not come to prison with a hijab, and when she requested one, they gave her a form to purchase one immediately. The MDOC released a statement about the meal saying, quote, the prisoner signed a document that she did not wish to receive the religious meals that are offered. They didn't explain to her that that was her, that that was the meal accommodation. They came to her with a paper. They said, if you don't want to eat pork, here, sign this paper. We'll give you a vegan meal. The second complaint is about Marna Muhammad, who is a known Muslim spirit leader. She tried visiting Ra as a clergy member. And each time I was turned away and denied my visit. For that complaint, the MDOC says she didn't have official documents to prove clergy status. And the council wants their complaints addressed by the MDOC today. And the MDOC says the order for the hijab has been processed and it will arrive at the prison sometime next week. But there's really a lot to this complaint. We have it listed on our website. Click on Detroit.com for you to read. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.